Hey everyone, this is Jake from Optimus Futures and in this video, I wanted to give you a quick introduction and quick tutorial on the newest feature we've added to Optimus Flow, which is P&L alerts. So as we all know, risk management is a key aspect of futures trading and part of that management is to minimize your daily losses. So in order to help traders learn and acquire these positive risk management assets, traits, and just overall give them a good risk appetite, we've decided to add P&L alerts to Optimus Flow for free of charge. And setting them up is extremely easy. So first off, we're going to go to the top right corner of Optimus Flow and click on the general settings icon. This is that cog wheel where my mouse is currently hovering over. You can also access general settings by right clicking within the toolbar at the top of the page and then clicking on general settings within the contacts menu. From here, head down to the bottom left, click on P and L alerts in the bottom of your general settings. And this is our configuration window. Now we just need to add an alert by clicking on the plus button in the top right. And now we have a, a few things to configure here. First, we'll do our symbol field. This is, of course, for whatever you're trading. If I want to find the E-mini S&P 500, I'm just going to go to CME. Find my symbol, which is ES, and then choose my month. If I'm using the front month contract, I can go ahead and apply that. If you're trading a specific month, maybe the June, for example, I can go ahead, click on that, and now we have the E-mini S&P 500 of June 2020 applied to my uh, P&L alerts here. Next up, we need to choose whether our P&L alert is going to be for positive or negative. As we discussed before, it's pretty good to minimize your daily losses. So in our case here, we're going to add a negative side here. And then next up, we have to set our alert target in dollars. So let's for say, for example, I wanted to do it for $700. So this is essentially reading now. If my position on the E-mini S&P 500 of June 2020 hits negative $700, an alert would trigger and I have the option of flattening it out. So all we need to do now is go ahead and click on this toggle button to the left here. Once you see your switch is blue, that means it's activated. And all we need to do now is go ahead and apply changes. This means that our alert is now active. So the next time we hit um, or enter a position on the E-mini e S&P 500 and we reach a profit and loss of negative 700, we're going to get an alert. So let's go ahead and try and simulate that now. It may be a bit hard to hit this in real time, so I may have to fast forward a bit. Of course, we don't want to lose $700 for no reason, but for the purpose of this video, we'll go ahead and enter a 15 lot order on the E-mini S&P 500 and place a buy market order. I may have to fast forward here to simulate the losses in real time, but let's go ahead and give it a, a few seconds here. And it looks like we're fluctuating a bit back and forth. So I'm going to fast forward until we reach uh, a, a loss of 700 and I'll show you guys what it looks like. All right, so we're back. Um, you probably just saw that in real time. Of course, you never want to lose $700 when trading with real live money. Um, of course, for this video, I am using a simulated paper trading account, and I did have to mess around and change my order up a couple different times to reach this negative uh, 700 PL. I entered in a short position. Of course, the market went the other way. So I re entered, closed everything out, re entered my new position and long, and of course, now we see what's happening here. So, as you can see, once you get filled, you will get in a message saying your alert target of your specified amount. In my case, negative $700 has been reached and you will now be disabled. Please reactivate your alert if a new PL target is required. Essentially, what this is saying is we just wanted to notify you that your account dropped $700 and we're giving you a convenient option to flatten it here. Now, you don't have to flatten it. We can go ahead and click no. But as soon as your PL target is reached, this alert is disabled. So we can go back to general settings up at the top here, go to our PL alerts. As you can see, it's still there, but our toggle switch is now gray. It's on the left hand side, which means it's disabled. Of course, we can go ahead, reactivate this, then click apply, and our alert will go right back in place. Of course, this is, this is the same position because we chose not to flatten it out, but we do give you that option if you'd like to do so. So just keep that in mind. Once your position gets hit, you have the option. Um, it's completely up to you. 
we're there for convenience. And as you can see, we just got filled in real time, which is nice. So you guys can see it uh, as it's happening in real time. But that pretty much wraps it up. Again, I'll show you what it looks like when we flatten it now. We click on flatten and now we're out of the position. If you want to enter in another position, you can do so at your discretion. Just make sure you go back up to general settings, go back to PL alerts, and then go ahead and re-enable this before you enter in everything or any new position or yeah, any new symbol. Uh, it's on a per symbol basis. Please keep that in mind. So this is not going to be on your overall account and needs to be done per symbol. So if I wanted to start trading the Dow for that day, I need to go in here. Excuse me. Actually, I should go into the right exchange of CBOT, add the Dow, put the front month or whatever month I'm trading, specify my amount. This one could be per, for a positive, enable it and go ahead and apply it. If you want to delete it, just click on it, apply changes and it's gone. That's going to wrap it up for this video. We hope you enjoyed this feature. If you do have any questions, please visit us on our community forum or ask them down in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching.